I want to talk to you uh, on this subject of fresh anointing. I started last week about the anointing having three places. The place of the anointing, the purpose of the anointing, and the person of the anointing. And last week we talked about the place of the anointing and right in the middle of it we had a divine interruption of the Holy Ghost and had an altar call. But I want to recap because I think it's important that we understand that the anointing has a specific place. The Bible says in 1 Kings 19 and 19 that Elisha was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen. He was the son of Shaphat and Elijah came by and cast his mantle of anointing upon him. And what we learned is that the anointing has a place. God stopped me in my study and said, if you want to be anointed, Shay, you've got to find yourself in the field. And we've got a lot of people today that want to be anointed, but they just don't want to get their hands dirty. Part of it, but there's a lot of people in the body of Christ, they want to anoint that they're not willing to pay for. You don't walk up and have somebody lay hands on you and pass an anointing on you. It took them 30 years to get Thank you. 
one person. And it's through his name, through faith in his name, that we are made whole. His name is Jesus Christ. Christ coming from the Greek word Christos. Christos meaning the anointed 